Okay, this is the MDC4 Exam 2 Concept Guide. Superficial first-degree burns are above the basal layer of epidermis. Mild to severe erythema is noted. Injured epidermis peels away and reveals new epidermis. It heals within three to six days without interventions. Superficial second-degree burns this is considered superficial partial thickness. This is into the upper layer of the dermis. It's moist, red, blanching, blistering, re-epithelialization from skin and adnexia is about two weeks of healing time. Deep second degree burns or deep partial thickness is deeper into the dermis. It's less moist less blanching, less painful. Scar deposition, contraction, limited re-epithelialization, and may need grafting. It's a two to six week healing time. Full thickness burn, this is considered third degree. This is entire thickness of skin is destroyed into the fat, any color, black, red, yellow, brown, or white, it's dry, contraction, and scar deposition, and requires grafting. Fourth degree burn is damage extends into the muscle, tendon, bone. You need a specialized care, and grafting does not work. Burn patient care, oxygen therapy, daily weights, monitor labs like sodium and potassium, teach about immunosuppression and interventions to prevent infection. Nutrition is 5,000 calories per day. Physical therapy to prevent contracture. Compression dressings only when grafts are healed and medication for pain. Parkland formula. This is four milliliters per, per BSA percentage per kilogram of body weight. First half is within the first eight hours and second half is over the next 16 hours. Total body surface area is TBSA. This is the amount of body surface affected and the depth of injury caused by a burn, the rule of the nines. A burn patient refuses physical therapy due to the pain it causes, what should the nurse do? Encourage physical therapy with exercise that is not as painful. Acknowledge patient concerns and provide pain relief. Types of shock. Hypovolemic, cardiogenic, obstructive, and distributive. Burn shock is caused by massive fluid shifts of plasma, electrolytes, and protein into the burned wound, causing the inability of the circulatory system to meet the needs of cells, tissues, and vital organs. It's a form of hypovolemic shock. Position for hypotension. Supine position, raise the legs. Lithiotomy position. Gynecology. High Fowler's position. This is the resident is sitting up almost straight at 60 to 90 degrees. It's used in respiratory distress, increased ICP, and autonomic dysreflexia. Prone position. Lying on the abdomen, facing downward, head may be turned to one side, often used for postural drainage. Burn care. Tetanus prophylaxis. Clean area, topical agents are silver, sulfazine, or maphenide acetate for deep penetration, provide temperature management. Silver sulfazine is used as a topical cream on burns. Do not use if patient has a sulfa allergy. Flail chest. This is a condition in which two or more ribs are fractured into two or more places or in association with a fracture of the sternum so that a segment of the chest wall is, in, is effectively detached from the rest of the thoracic cage. Ventilator settings. Rate, tidal volume, fraction of inspired oxygen or FiO2, inspiratory flow, rate or volume, peak inspiratory pressure, sensitivity, IE ratio, minute volume. PEEP, 
Positive in expiratory pressure. When is PEEP used? During ARDS, CHF, and flail chest. MODS, multiple organ dysfunction syndrome, progressive organ dysfunction in an acutely ill patient such that hemostasis cannot be maintained without intervention. Determine multi-organ dysfunction syndrome. This is elevated respirations, decreased urine output, increased BUN, creatinine, ALT, AST, WBCs, and failure to maintain hemostasis. Assessment for burn, airway, breathing, circulation, and deformity. Burn assessment presents with modeling and no pulse. What is the nurse's priority action? Call the physician. This could be an indication of poor perfusion. Intravenous epinephrine effects. Elevated blood pressure, elevated MAP, vasoconstriction with no change, and intro and vascular volume. Hypovolemic shock treatment. IVF, transfuse PRBCs as needed in effort to increase fluid volume and decrease potassium. Pulmonary embolism, or, or PE. Clot or other material lodges in vessel of the lung often caused by DVT. INR range, two to three seconds. PTT range, 25 to 35 seconds. Therapeutic ranges require the PT and PTT to be 1.5 times higher than the base range. Nurse's priority for assessing for shock, ABCs. When should the patient receive emergency treatment for burns? When the burn covers more than 25% of the body. Septic shock, a serious condition that occurs when an overwhelming infection affects the body. Signs of septic shock is elevated temperature. Anaphylactic shock, severe allergic reaction, system release of histamines, massive vasodilation, decreases blood pressure, Treat with epinephrine, IM, or INH. Neurogenic shock, a state of shock or hyperperfusion caused by nerve paralysis that sometimes develops from spinal cord injuries. Neurogenic shock treatment, general treatment and atropine for bradycardia and stabilize C-spine and methylprednisolone within eight hours of injury. Septic shock treatment, blood cultures, IVF, vasopressors. Norepinephrine is first line of defense. Dopamine, dobutamine can be used. Antibiotics within one hour. Endotracheal intubation. Placement of an endotracheal tube through the mouth and to the pharynx, larynx, and trachea to establish an airway. Flail chest. Paradoxical chest wall movement, sucking inward, or loose chest area during inspiration puffing out of same area during expiration. Signs of neurogenic shock, hypertension, bradycardia, warm, dry skin, Cushing's triad. Distributive shock occurs when widespread dilation of the blood vessels causes blood to pool in the vascular beds. What does norepinephrine do? Increases MAP without changing intravascular volume. Treatment for pulmonary embolism. Heparin, thrombolytic agents, it's 1.5 times control value. Bun values, 10 to 20. Creatinine values, 0 0.6 to 1.2. PTT value, 25 to 35 seconds. INR values, 2 to 3. When would the physician consider tracheotomy? when patient is unable to maintain airway. Respiratory assessment, inspection rate, depth, and quality. Okay, so the ABGs, the pH is 7.2, CO2 is 45, and the bicarb is 23. What should the nurse prepare for? Intubation, position client and retrieve intubation box or supplies for physician. Chest tubes are placed. Plural space. Chest tube placement is placed higher to drain air and lower to drain fluid, blood, pus, and lymphatic fluid. Needle thoros 
thoracostomy. Wall, needle, catheter placed into the pleural space to drain air. Used for tension pneumothorax. Tracheostomy. Creation of an opening into the trachea. Patients receive tracheotomy when they are unable to secure their own airway. Atropine sulfate. Used as first-line defense in sinus bradycardia. 0.5 milligrams every 3 to 5 minutes as needed. Max is 3 milligrams. Think alive gets 0.5. Do not use if client has hypothermia. Furosemide, which is Lasix side effects. Dehydration, hyponatremia, hypochloremia, hypokalemia, orthostatic hypotension, hyperglycemia, and hyperuricemia. IVC filter, inferior vena cava filter, usually for treatment of pulmonary embolism. Embolectomy, surgical removal, removal of an embolus or clot, usually with a balloon catheter, inflating the balloon beyond the clot, then pulling the balloon back to the incision and bringing the clot with it. Chest tube, placement in the pleural space to remove air. Medial stinal tube drains fluid from the heart. No titling due to not in the lung cavity. Chest tube device is a collection chamber, water seal chamber, provides one-way valve so that air leaves from the lungs but cannot enter. Suction control chamber is a negative pressure to pleural space. Expected finding is continuous bubbling in the chamber. Cardiogenic shock signs, cool and clammy, pale and cyanotic, hypotensive, altered level of consciousness, slow cap, refill, and tachycardia. Thoracostomy, drains the interpural space and mediastinum. Fluid or air in either space may be life-threatening depending on fluid of volume, volume of fluid. Hydrotherapy for burns. For necrotic tissue, immersion and non-immersion can be utilized with the following consideration. Analgesics may be necessary. VR successful to decrease pain, risk of infection, infection, salt may be needed to add if water is used such as with immersion therapy in order to decrease change of hyponatremia, sodium loss from PT to water, sodium loss from patient to water, patient placed on table or shower chair, provide patient education about therapy, sign of inhalation injury, hoarse, brassy cough, bacterial pneumonia symptoms, acute onset, fever, chills, productive cough, shortness of breath, and tachycardia. Carbon monoxide poisoning symptoms, headache, dizziness, loss of consciousness, nausea, vomiting, chest pain, and confusion. Pulmonary edema signs and symptoms, crackles, dyspnea, cough, tachycardia, cyanosis, jugular vein distension, pink frothy sputum. Hypovolemic shock treatment, IVF normal saline, transfuse PRBCs as needed. These fluids increase intravascular volume. Compensatory stage of hypovolemic shock. Able to maintain perfusion, blood pressure is normal, anxiety, restless, combative, thirst, weakness, dilated pupils, decreased urine output, and tachycardia. Progressive stage of shock. Weak thready pulse, excessively low blood pressure, below 90 systolic, edema, and dysrhythmia. How often should a nurse evaluate breath sounds when a patient is on a vent? Every four hours. Types of distributive shock. Septic, anaphylactic, and neurogenic. Ventilator alarms, low pressure and high pressure. Low is disconnection, high is suction for possible secretion and kinks. ARDS, or acute respiratory distress syndrome. Respiratory insufficiency marked by progressive hypo hypoxia. Burn patient plan of care. No vegetables, fresh flowers, high protein foods, 5,000 calorie diet, physical therapy, apply compression dressings after grafts heal. Which client is most at risk for MODs? Septic shock. 
Disseminated Intravascular Coagulation, or DIC. Abnormal Coagulation Involving Fibrinogen. Atelectasis Sounds. Ronchi or Lack of Breath Sounds. Metabolic Acidosis. Low pH, low bicarb. Fully Compensated Metabolic Acidosis. Plasma back to 7.35 to 7.45. Bicarb ratio back to 1 to 20. Depressed CO2 levels is hyperventilating. Depressed bicarb levels. Respiratory acidosis, a drop in blood pH due to hypoventilation or too little breathing and a resulting accumulation of carbon dioxide. Mechanical ventilation high pressure alarm. This is excess secretions, kinks, patient biting the tubes, coughing, pulmonary edema, bronchospasm, pneumothorax, or high kink. Central venous pressure, or CVP. This is the pressure of blood in the thoracic vena cava near the right atrium of the heart reflects the amount of blood returning to the heart and the ability of the heart to pump the blood into the arterial system. Decreased CVP can occur in low fluid volume or heart pump failure. Electrical burns, frequently associated with significantly greater internal injuries than would be suspected from the appearance of entrance and exit wounds, may cause arrest through ventricular fibrillation activity. Bag mast valve device, recommended for emergency respirations. Early sepsis signs and symptoms, poor feeding, emesis, lethargy, apnea, ileus, abdominal distension. Dobutamine, beta agonists, increased contractility, increased heart rate and contractility so can cause tachycardia, Dobutamine can cause chest pain due to vasoconstriction. You notify the doctor as soon as possible. Ventilator alarms, high pressure. This is increased secretions, tube kink, patient biting on tube or coughing. Acute phase of burns. After successful fluid resuscitation, prevention of infection, pneumonia is a major cause of death. Early sepsis, fever, urine output less than intake, lightheaded or altered mental status. Dobutamine, causes vasoconstriction and is contraindicated in chest pain patient. Common causes of ARDS, shock, severe trauma, burns, sepsis, narcotic overdose, pancreatitis, and transfusion reaction. Pulmonary embolism, pleuretic chest pain, Dyspnea, tachycardia, diagnostics are D-dimer, CTA, and anticoagulants. Treat ARDS with mechanical ventilation. Pneumothorax treatment and assessment. Oxygen, monitor vital signs, tracheal deviation, breast sounds, needle, needle thoracotomy. Dehydration symptoms. Thirst, weakness, exhaustion, delirium, and death. Flail chest treatment, manually stabilized during transport. Positive pressure ventilation, excuse me, is helpful. Apply bulky dressing, watch SpO2 saturation. MODS, multiple organ dysfunction syndrome. Complication of, an, of a form of shock due to inadequate tissue perfusion. Failure of two or more organ systems. End result if shock isn't stopped. Norepinephrine, or NE, the neurotransmitter used by the sympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system at a post-ganglionic organ level, synapse. Lactic acid, lactic acid production occurs when cells metabolize under anaerobic, which is no oxygen, conditions such as hypoxia, sepsis, and shock. Excessive fat breakdown forms keto acids. Neurogenic shock. In neurogenic shock, loss of blood vessel tone or dilation after severe cord injury may result in hypoperfusion. Atropine sulfate is used to treat bradycardia if the pulse rate falls below 50 to 60 beats a minute. 
obtain baseline body temp, administer a lactated ringer, prepare for intubation if patient is unable to maintain airway. Furosemide or Lasix. Loop diuretic inhibits sodium chloride, potassium, and CO transporter in the thick ascending loop of the LOH. Also increases CA2 secretion in LOP, hypokalemia, nephrotoxicity, autotoxicity. Drug therapy focuses on removing excess fluid. Diuretics are used for fluid overload if kidney function is normal. Drugs may include high ceiling loop diuretics such as furosemide. PE treatment. <clears throat> Immediate ID and treatment is vital. Most deaths occur within two hours. This is IV, EKG, return pulmonary blood flow to normal, prevent reoccurrence, thrombolytic agents, streptokinase, urokinase, retoplase, which is newer, longer half-life, altoplase, oxygen therapy, even if O2 sats are normal, surgery, and IVC filter. Emergent phase of burn care. From burn onset until extracellular fluid mobilization and diuresis. This is 72 hours. This is high risk of clot and stroke. High h and because of fluid loss equals high concentration. Thicker blood, anemia from blood loss, clotting abnormalities and thrombocytopenia, which is low platelets from blood loss. High potassium because it leaks out of cells from tissue damage, later hypokalemia. Low sodium from fluid loss. Fluid leaks out of vascular system and causes swelling, metabolic acidosis from poor tissue perfusion, an increase in lactic acid means a drop in the pH. Non-progressive stage of shock. This is reflex mechanisms become active, coolness of skin, blood redirected elsewhere, retains bodily fluids, Decrease in blood pressure, urine output, and rapid heartbeat. Progressive stage of shock. When compensatory mechanisms fail, organ functions begin to deteriorate, increase blood pressure of at least 20. Mechanical intubation assessment. Breath sounds minimal of every four hours. Risk for PE. Greater than 60 years old, pulmonary hypertension, congestive heart failure, CVD, CA, CVA, venous stasis, meds, recent trauma and immobility, OCPs, history of PVD, history of AFib, and sedentary lifestyle. Sodium nitroprusside, vasodilator used in hypertensive emergencies can produce a sudden and drastic drop in blood pressure causing symptomatic hypotension Monitor blood pressure closely every five to 10 minutes. Adenosine, antiarrhythmic, this is for SVT. Amiodarone, also cordarone. This is an antidysrhythmic agent, prolongs repolarization, relaxes smooth muscles, decreases vascular resistance. For V-fib and unstable VTAC, incompatible with heparin, may be given by mouth maintenance dose. Monitor for respiratory complications. ARDS, acute respiratory distress syndrome. Respiratory insufficiency marked by progressive hypoxia. Pneumothorax, air in the pleural cavity, decrease or absent lung sounds. Atelectasis, a collapse in the alveoli that prevents normal exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Metabolic acidosis. This is decreased pH in blood and body tissues as a result of an upset in the metabolism. Excessive oxidation of fatty acids. Diabetic ketoacidosis, starvation, hypermetabolism, heavy exercise, seizure activity, fever, hypoxia, ischemia, excessive ingestion of acids, ethanol or methanol intoxication, and salicylic salicylate intoxication. Respiratory acidosis causes. Primary cause is hypoventilation. This causes hypercapnia. Contributing causes is COPD, 
pulmonary disease, drugs, obesity, mechanical asphyxia, and sleep apnea. Metabolic alkalosis causes severe vomiting, excessive GI suctioning, diuretics, excessive metabolic alkalosis, or NAHCO3. Respiratory alkalosis causes hyperventilation, which is respiratory alkalosis. Emphysema, a condition in which the air sacs of the lungs are damaged and enlarged, causing breathlessness, respiratory acidosis. Anxiety, an emotional state of high energy with, with the stress response as the body's reaction to it, respiratory alkalosis. Diabetic ketoacidosis, or DKA, a form of hyperglycemia and uncontrolled diabetes in which certain acids accumulate when insulin is not available. Metabolic acidosis. Sympathetic nervous system, fight or flight, this is vasoconstriction. Surviving sepsis campaign, restore perfusion, antimicrobial therapy within one hour of sepsis diagnosis, source control and glycemic control. Respiratory distress, increased work of breathing, a sensation of shortness in breath, reassess your client. Bronchodilates are used to improve breathing in people who have COPD and asthma. What fluid would you give to neurogenic shock patient? A lactated ringer. Cardiac tamponade treatment, immediate perio pericardiocentesis to relieve pleural effusion. If recurrent, recur refer to cardiothoracic surgeon. Dopamine and norepinephrine is levofed, leave them dead. Vasopressin is all vasopressors, vaso they vasoconstrict. Any type of tachypnea is alkalotic. Albumin, 3.4 to 5.4. Sodium, 135 to 145. Potassium, 3.5 to 5. Urine, 30 milliliters an hour. pH, 7.35 to 7.45. PaO2, 80 to 100. PaCO2 is 35 to 45. HCO3 is 22 to 26. Oxygen saturation needs to be above 95%. Bun is 6 to 21. Creatinine is 0.7 to 2.1. D-dimer, 0.5 of blood or 500 for clotting. Lactic acid, 3 to 7. White blood cells, 5,000 to 10,000. Hemoglobin, men is 14 to 18. Women is 12 to 16. Hematocrit, men is 42 to 52. Women is 37 to 47. Mean arterial pressure is one systolic plus two diastolic divided by three. The range is 60 to 100. Tidal volume, 650 to 800. PEEP, 5 to 20. Respirations, 12 to 20. FiO2 is 95% or higher. Assist control, directly impacts the patient. SIMV, is synchronized intermittent mechanical ventilation. Burns, resuscitative, high potassium, hyponatremia, increased white blood cells, hypoxemia, low PaO2. Pulmonary embolism, high D-dimer, high CO2, low PaO2. Fluid volume excess, decreased sodium, the sodium is less than 136. Decreased serum. Decreased urine-specific gravity. Bounding pulse. Increased blood pressure. Hypovolemic shock. h and is high. Dehydration. h and is low. That means they're bleeding. Increased lactic acid. Increased potassium. Burns. No diuretics. The patient is already suffering from volume depletion. Instead, give albumin. ARDS, Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome. ARDS is ARF with these added, hypoxemia, 
persist even when 100% O2 is given, decreased pulmonary compliance, dyspnea, non-cardiac bilateral pulmonary edema. Do not give diuretics, give albumin. Risk factors for ARDS is burns and anaphylaxis. Clinical manifestation is refractory hypoxemia. You're gonna do a chest x-ray. It might show white patches in the lungs. This is a big sign in ARDS, COVID and pneumonia. We can tell this by an ABG. The treatment is PEEP, positive in expiratory pressure. Strider is a high-pitched crowing sound. Pulmonary embolism happens in the extremities. Signs and symptoms of a PE is acute onset of dyspnea and shortness of breath, pleuritic chest pain, tachypnea, and tachycardia. The lung sounds is wheezing, crackles, and ronks, ronchi, fluid in the lungs, which is amniotic, fat, fluid, blood, and vegetation. The diagnostics is a CT with angiography. This is a CT angio, not just a CT because a CT angio allows us to use contrast to see if there's a clot in one of the blood vessels. Lab values is D-dimer. This identifies the amount of activated fibrinogen in the blood for clotting. The medications is heparin. This prevents clotting. The antidote is protamine sulfate or warfarin, which is vitamin K. Before we give someone heparin, we need to check the PTT. The PTT therapeutic levels is 25 to 35. And always look for signs and symptoms of bleeding, like tasting iron, bleeding gums, and urine, feces, or extremities. The treatment for a PE is inferior vena cava filter, an embolectomy or thrombolytics, thrombolytics, which are clot busters, like what you give for a stroke or TPA, airway, breathing, circulation. Flail chest is a section of the ribs that are fractured in two or more places, like free floating. These people need PEEP and possibly intubation. Flail chest is a paradoxical chest wall movement. Assessment is you might hear diminished absent lung sounds. You're gonna intubate, you're gonna put them on a ventilator and give PEEP so they can get expansion with air. Paradoxical respirations are unequal chest wall movements. Think about flail chest. Pneumothorax is air in the pleural space. Signs and symptoms is reduced or absent breath sounds of the affected side on auscultation. Hyperresonance. The diagnostics is a chest x-ray. You're gonna do the front or the back side. Treatment is a chest tube. Leaks indicate continuous tidal volume. Assess the site and occlusive dressing. Tension pneumothorax. This is extreme respiratory distress and cyanosis, JVD, tracheal deviation, hemodynamic instability. You're going to treat with a large bore, needle, thoracostomy, and chest tube. Hemothorax is bleeding into the chest cavity. Signs and symptoms is a dull sound. You're going to treat it with a chest tube. Increased heart rate is tachycardia. Respiratory failure is acute respiratory failure, ARF, can be ventilator failure, oxygenation or gas exchange failure, or a combination of both. The treatment is endotracheal tube. This is an artificial airway to protect the airway from closing. A tracheostomy is considered if an artificial airway is needed for longer than 10 to 14 days. Okay, so AC or assist control is the ventilation is a full support mode. The ventilator takes over the work of the breathing for the patient. The tidal volume and ventilatory rate are present and referred to as mandatory breaths. SIMV or synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation is similar to AC ventilation in that the tidal volume and ventilatory rate are present, are preset. This type of ventilation can be used to either pressure or volume regulate mode. If the patient does not breathe, a ventilatory pattern is established by the ventilator. Sepsis is life-threatening. Early signs is altered mental status, fever, tachycardia. 
SIRS is Systematic Inflammatory Response Syndrome. This is an exaggerated ex response of the body to a noxious stressor, like infection, trauma, surgery, to localize and then eliminate the endogenous or exogenous sort of insult. Shock. This is gas exchange with oxygen, oxygenation and tissue perfusion are not sufficient to maintain cell function. It's a whole body response and it leads to metabolic acidosis. Hypovolemic shock is burns, bleeding, and dehydration. Too little circulating blood volume causes the MAP to decrease so the body's total needs for oxygen is not met. Common problems is hemorrhage and dehydration. This is widespread loss of blood vessel tone and decreased cardiac output. Assessment is weak thready pulse, decreased blood pressure, they're cool and clammy. The treatment is emergent treatment. Check in H and H. Type and screen blood. If blood is not available right away, give IV normal saline or cryoprecipitate. Labs is H and H. Hematocrit will be high, bun, CMP, red blood cells, and lactic. Cardiogenic shock is weak, flaccid heart muscle, compensatory. The assessment is tachycardia, diaphoresis, severely hypotensive, cold and clammy skin, and tachypnea. The nursing concern is low CVP or central venous pressure. Check breath sounds frequently. The treatment is IV fluids, dopamine, digoxin, and dibunamine. Digoxin will dig for a deeper contraction and small therapeutic range, so watch out for toxicity. And dobunamine can have an adverse effect of chest pain, so don't ignore it, but let the doctor know the kind of chest pain and to change it. Septic shock is a type of distributed shock. The greatest risk factor for MODS is multi-organ organ dysfunction syndrome. This is intervention, norepinephrine, IV fluids, and antibiotics to treat the underlying infection. Cardiogenic shock is an MI or a PE, and this is weak, flaccid heart muscle. Septic shock is an infection like pneumonia. It's caused by an infection like pneumonia. Signs and symptoms of shock is tachycardia. Increased fever is the main sign. Sweating. On exam, know this. Oh, never mind. Initial is vasodilation, decreased SVR. Compensatory is hypotensive, tachycardia, diaphoretic, and pale. Progressive is vital sign shift, cold and clammy. Antibiotics is IV broad spectrum myosins, peak and trough levels for the kidneys. Cardiogenic shock is usually caused by, NI, er, by an MI or heart issue. Anaphylaxis is airway constricts and strider. Neurogenic shock is TBI or spinal cord injury. Pink and warm, decreased heart rate. Autonomic dysreflexia. Signs might be high blood pressure and very low heart rate with no fever. No signs of an MI. As long as you see the heart rate issues, you can sum it down to neurogenic shock. You're going to do atropine for a symptomatic low heart rate. For automatic dysreflexia, make sure that they are not constipated, not in pain. They're sitting in the upright position to increase the blood pressure. They're emptying their bladder, and they will have a normal body temperature. Cardiogenic and ob obstructive shock is cold and clammy. Obstructive shock is obstruction to the left ventricle. The causes is a massive PE, periocardic tamponade, and tension pneumothorax. The stages of shock. The initial stage is metabolism without oxygen. Monitor for decompensation, start fluids 0.9% and antibiotics. Non-progressive or con compensatory stage is think helpers. Tachycardia, decreased urine output, and tachypnea. The treatment is a fluid bolus at 0.45% and D5. Temperature control, antibiotics, you're going to do lactic and ABGs for the labs. Progressive stage, the vital organs develop hypoxia and less vital organs become anoxic and ischemic. This is resulting in tissue damage or death. They're going to be cold and clammy. 
and hypotensive. You're going to give them norepinephrine and fluids. Refractory stage or irreversible stage of shock, this is increasing lactic values. Call the chaplain, order the flowers. Too much cell death and tissue damage results from too little oxygen reaching the tissues. MODS is multiple organ dysfunction syndrome. The interventions is ABCs, give oxygen and manator, manage respiratory status. Hydrate, give them mouth and IV fluids and blood products. Complications is DIC. This is disseminated intravascular coagulation. It's a rare but serious condition that causes abnormal blood clotting throughout the body's blood vessels. MODS, the progressive physiological dysfunction of two or more organ systems. With shock, MODS is a sequence of cell damage caused by the massive release of toxic metabolites and enzymes. ARDS is a serious lung condition that causes low blood oxygen where fluid builds up inside the tiny air sacs of the lungs and surfactant breaks down, decreasing lung compliance. And SIRS is systemic inflammatory response syndrome often leads to ARDS. ARDS. Norepinephrine function, this increases blood pressure by increasing contractility of the heart and causes vasoconstriction. Vasopressors help with increasing MAP by constricting the blood vessels, but does not increase fluid volume. Digoxin and dobutamine increases contractility and pulls the fluid. Cardizem slows down the heart rate. Amiodarone is an antiarrhythmic drug. Dopamine, vasopressin is a vasoconstrictor. Atropine is for bradycardia. Neosemphorin is vasoconstricts.